Hey guys, Axel Myth here, and today um, I just want to do kind of like a sketchbook tour. I have all of these right here that I kind of wanted to go through with you guys. Um, basically for every day, almost every day, um, for the last year, I have taken, taken my hour lunch at work to draw something. And um, sometimes it wasn't that hour lunch at work, sometimes it was this or that. And basically what started this was a few things. The first thing was that my uh, one of my friends, he started his own web comics online and stuff. And I was just kind of like, hey, I would like to do th that type thing at some point. And um, the other thing, honestly, was kind of um, Pootie Pie started drawing last year and that one was definitely like a hit to the pride for me because it was like this guy had n n this guy was like the last person on the planet i thought would pick up drawing because he was already so successful like what does he need art for right so um yeah but um i kind of want to make this video because i've seen like a lot of other people do it and they get and not only they they get a decent amount of support right and I just kind of wanted to uh, do that not for the validation but just because I thought it was pretty cool because uh, not for the support thing but to see other people's progress you know because some people will only do it for a month and make so much progress some people have done the same thing for like a year and you know it looks you know, and still the progress is really good. So I, f I wanted to just kind of do a year progress. But this isn't the first time that I've tried to go back to drawing. Um, this is the year 20, 2024. This was drawn in 2025. And as you notice, I do like a lot of, I did like a lot of notes here, basically criticizing myself because um, like, I'm not gonna lie, I had, so much self-doubt and I had a perfectionist sort of mindset um, this was something that I wasn't going to show anybody but this was me trying to draw like the female body because that was something that I couldn't do um, just a bunch of gesture drawings this was all done in like 2020 right and I just I just kind of gave up after I, I thought I did think that this one was pretty cool I think that was supposed to be from like Metroid I think that was a picture of Samus I found online. But um, anyway. So I did like one of these. And this was supposed to be practicing the side head. And um, I think I was trying the Loomis method. I think that's called or something. I don't really know what this, what some of this was. Um, yeah. And then uh, this was probably like the last thing I drew in 2020. As you know, as you... Uh, this is Kurabara from Yu, Yu Yu Hakusho, and this, like, right here just didn't look right. So, um, I think this is ultimately the thing that kind of made me sort of give up that and that. Um, didn't know what to draw that day. Just a fist. Um, I did do some stuff like that, I guess. I don't know. Uh... Yeah, and then it just kind of goes blank. I didn't finish this one. But that's just kind of how that was uh, four years ago in 2020. Um, before that, I was doing stuff like this, sort of. Um, you know, maybe some stuff like this. That's, like, these are just to, so that you, you kind of see what I was doing beforehand. Uh, before looking at some of the other stuff. But um, I can tell that um, this is probably the one that actually made me give up because four years ago I would have been 23. And um, as it says right here, and basically what this was, this was me trying to do, like, uh, perspective. And I just thought that this, sh like, perspective shouldn't be this, 
shouldn't be this hard for me because I was 23. But, like, I'd never really uh, done a lot of perspective drawings before. Uh, at some point, I just kind of watched a lot of drawing motivational videos. And the stuff that they kind of taught me was that just draw. Don't... The finished product doesn't necessarily matter because even on a bad drawing you still learn something so a year ago i would say it was like july 27th or something i don't really know um, i started picking up drawing and this was like one of the first things i did i started with the donkey kong heads um, i was originally only going to draw like 15 minutes a day but uh, sometimes it ended up being uh, way longer than that just because of things um, obviously here's Donkey Kong from Donkey Kong Country. Um, something, a whole bunch of these are from like a how to draw book, by the way. Not a how to draw book, how to draw books, rather, plural. Um, you know, here's Diddy. Um, this was one of those trying out perspective uh, 3D shape type things, whatever. Uh, Dixie Kong. Sorry that some of these are kind of light. All these are basically just like pencil drawings and whatnot. Cranky. Um, if some of these look weird, it's because it, it really didn't help that I probably started with like one of those slightly more advanced ones, like this one, he looks kind of weird, Rambi. Um, but, yeah. Espresso, and he's thinking of the Starbucks. I thought that was, for some reason, that was hilarious to me. His name is Espresso. On guard. Uh, sure. Squawks. King K. Rule. I wish I could show... I have them around here somewhere. I just didn't get them out because I didn't think about it until now. Of, But, yeah, King K. Rule. Um, this was just kind of a rough sketch of something uh, somebody asked me to do. And uh, I never actually uh, did that for them yet because I'm still learning how to draw, and if I want to draw something for them, I want it to be the best it can be. So, um, maybe not the best it can be, but definitely better than, like, this. You know, this is not very good looking. Um, you'll notice by the end of this video, if you keep count, that there's not a 365 drawings, and that's because I keep, I take, like, weekends off and stuff. And, uh, and, like, sometimes, like, uh, that friend who had, like, uh, who has that webcomic, he would ask me to do a, uh, a, a like, a comic book cover for his, uh, online Webtoons comic called, uh, Rose Petal Gang, and, uh, uh, so this one was, uh, Draw Like a Sir, he had, like, this thing on how to draw a women's body, and, uh, I just kind of made it too long. Another Jester drawing, uh, you know, Snake. This was the end of the Donkey Kong Country thing. I, I decided to draw a couple of those things at the back there. Another trying to gesture draw. And then I start the next one. Oh, give me a second. There we go. Um, this is an old coffee spill, I think, or something like that. I don't really know. It dried and it doesn't. It made the pages not look very good, not look look very bad. So I, I apologize for that. But uh, yeah, 
Not the best peach I've ever seen in my life. Her head's a little fat, but whatever. And then Toad, and this is the end of uh, what I call Sketchbook 1. Um, this was probably July to September or something like that, I think. Yeah. Uh, if you notice, like, they start, like, halfway through, and that's because, like, these were notebooks or something like this. I was start, like, it was part of, like, my schooling at some point. But I only made it like halfway through this, so then I just picked it back up to uh, basically draw in it. Uh, so, yeah, that's Bowser. Now, this Wario didn't originally have a body. I kind of freestyled the body, but you can probably tell that. Donkey Kong, as you see, I've kind of gotten better at Donkey Kong. That was just like a bunch of circles. That was, that was me trying to not do the chicken scratch circles which I still kind of do sometimes um, but yeah as you see um, I, I've i done Donkey Kong quite decently here I think this legs a little screwed up but whatever um, yeah Diddy Kong I kind of like the Diddy Kong from the other book from the first sketchbook but this one is okay uh, Tiny Kong um, so the hard thing about this one was like, this one was pulled, this, the render that they were trying to have you draw was pulled from like the Nintendo 64. So like all of this was kind of like, had like sharp edges and stuff. And I thought, well, I don't really want to do that. So I kind of rounded them out to try to do that. And this guy, this guy just looks awful which is why i have that question mark but when you look inside of the nintendo book i got this from the how to draw nintendo characters book he doesn't look much better than this that so that's always kind of weird to me king k rule again i could probably i have since started darkening my lines a little bit since a lot of these um really horrible link i used to draw him better back then uh, his head's a little too big. Uh, all things considered, this one didn't turn out too bad. I think, I think I could, I could probably maybe do better. Now I don't really know. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, Zelda, definitely probably one of the better looking ones in this book. Armos, Lizfos. This one doesn't look too bad. Uh, yeah. We're still in like 2023 here. I think at this point we have definitely reached like November or something like that. Um, yeah, and as you see, I've I've moved on to a Pokemon how to draw book here. Uh, it doesn't quite have every single Pokemon. This is the first attempt I've ever had at actually drawing Charizard, and it turned out amazingly, I think. And kind of the same thing with this Blastoise. I've not actually tried to do this Blastoise before. Um, it's not too bad of me. I think his body's a little too big. Whatever. Amazing Charmander here. I love it. Some of these I tried to just, I tried to draw small just to see if I could do it. Uh, Bulbasaur looks kind of weird, but whatever. It's not the first time I've, some of these, I, it's not the first time I've tried to draw them. Um, it's a little cup of lemonade. This is, uh, 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 the duck walked up to the lemonade stand joke. Because he's saying, guy ain't grapes. It's dumb. Poliwhirl. Gengar. I feel like I could have made him a little rounder. But, whatever. Eevee. This is the only Eevee evolution in this book. Snorlax. This is definitely one of my favorites from the, that book. That one wasn't too bad. I don't think... The, the wings definitely are not very symmetrical. But, whatever. Um... Yeah, Vulpix, Caterpie, 
Rotata. Raticate is one of my favorite Pokemon, so I really liked being able to draw that one. What is that? My chop? Okay. Uh, yeah. Cubone. I feel like Cubone usually has like a stomach line, but they didn't have me add that. This guy, Hitmonchan. I feel like his body is just a little too wide, but whatever. Okay, so this one right here, this is a marker. I know for sure that we are at the end of the year in December. Because uh, I remember drawing this one while I was over in uh, Missouri. Uh, this one, I, tr I, I tried to draw small. I tried to draw as small as I possibly could. Because, like, Clefairy is uh, really, just really simple shapes, honestly. Mewtwo. This one was challenging. There, there was a lot of, uh, you know, draw this complex shape. And then I was like, okay, I have to break this down into simpler shapes so that I can draw it. And all in all, I don't think it turned out too bad. And, of course, I put the little smash ball up there. Sandshrew. Uh, I think the, har the hardest part on this guy was definitely the, the brick lines. Um, and the way that they kind of wrap around him and trying to make that look convincing. Uh, Beedrill, that's, that's okay. Um, Arbok is the last one of that, of that book. And again, I feel like I, I think I left it off on kind of a banger. Not great, but it was okay. This was a... Now we get to this how to draw anime book. Um, I forget his name, but, um, total credit goes to him when I get th that book. Um, this was, like, one of the first drawing exercises he had there where he's, like, basically just draw these four faces and then, you know, follow the guidelines on it. Um, and then, yeah, I just started drawing these amazing anime faces, and, like, this... And this are both, like, the best anime girl faces I have ever drawn in my life. You know, and, like, just uh, four years, or, th yeah, four years at this point prior, you know, I was doing what was in that other book in, you know, the 20, the one that I showed you that was in 2020. So that was crazy. Um, that was just kind of a joke. Mail the mail. It's just a dude face. Whatever. It's not that important. Side view. Uh, the side view is honestly really hard because basically of the angle of the nose and the lips. Um, I tried to kind of replicate that here. And it, I was able to kind of do that. And then this was just like... The, he also had in this book like a something kind of like this where it was just like one pay one or two pages sp uh, spread of just like reference photos that you could use and that's what I decided and uh, I decided to draw all of them for the anime faces and some of them definitely turn out better than others I like this one but, like, I don't like some of the curly hair and stuff. That one was okay. Um, again, like I said, some of these turn out better than others. I think I like 12 the best on here. And maybe, what is that? Uh, 16 or something right there. Um, and then he had the same thing for, for men. And... You know, I don't think any of these look awful, at least. Except for maybe, like, number three. Not too hot about number nine and six, either, but whatever. And then I think that's it for this one. I don't know why I left that blank page back here. I could probably go back and use it. But that was, um... Sketchbook number two. Um, I didn't start dating these until much later. I think at this point we're in February or something like that. 
Um, so yeah, they he had me draw old people, middle-aged people, fuller people, as he called it, I think. Even uh, had me draw like a couple children faces here and there. Um, this child's face looks a little demented, but you know, I'm still not great at it. And then he, no joke, I think the dude had like a hundred anime eyes to draw. And this is just kind of like my attempt to do a bunch of them. And honestly, like, while I was drawing them, I didn't see much of a difference. But, like, now that I've had some time away from this and I go back to looking at it, it honestly doesn't look awful. And then this is, uh, as you can tell, a lot darker. This is just an all pen. And uh, I was just basically just drawing basic shapes and um, curved lines and straight lines and stuff just to try to, like, learn to control my hand basically better because that's what that's what a lot of artists say to just start doing first um then i think he had like a couple like anime just like expressional faces or whatever to draw i decided not to do all those he had like a full page spread and then i started taking a couple of things around the house to just I sat them down and just drew them. I have no idea what that is, don't ask. But like, this is like a super glue bottle. And like, a lot of this was trying to be like, you know, where I don't lift up my pencil at all. So like, this is like a, I think this is like a lotion bottle or something like that. Uh, this was, uh, this is my uh, Bluetooth speaker and this is like a uh, super glue bottle. Um, this was actually like a pose of like Lindsay Lohan or something I tried to draw. This is the coffee pot in my kitchen and um, this was just like a freestyle Wii. I don't even think I had a reference photo for a Wii, but I just decided to do that. And I, I again, I don't, I think this is a jar of some kind. I think that's a jar. And I guess I go back at some point to some of the anime expressions. Maybe I did draw all those. I don't remember. I must have, because, yeah, I'm not too big on sad and regret. I feel like, I don't know, maybe the ear and the, the uh, hair strand could have come up and her eyes could have been a little closer together, together or whatever. Um, this is me. I don't... I don't know why the uh, author of this book had to attack me like that, but, um, and I don't know, determination just looks like anger. It looked like anger in the book, too, but that that's just the way he's, he's said to draw determination, and then, yeah, anger. Distress and supplies. Yeah, it was a lame joke. So funny thing is like, of course I'm drawing forks. This was a box at the break room table at work and this was a pen that was right next to it. This is actually my, uh, the bottle for my uh, Rinvoke medication. And then once again, I kind of go back to the anime book. I was kind of getting a little tired of the anime book. So I would kind of go back and forth between it between it i'll tell you more in a minute this this is like uh i i feel like if you're an artist you know what this is already this is like me trying to uh measure her heads like how how tall this uh body should be right um and then What's funny about this is that this is just me doing the dishes. Um, there was a couple of dishes that were just sat there. Um, I had actually just washed um, 
And then I was like, you know what, I could draw that. And I did. And it looks kind of fun. And I think it do doesn't look half bad for this being a live picture. Obviously, a li some liberties were taken. Like, I think there was a little bit more silverware down here, but these were the most prominent. And a lot of them aren't to scale, unfortunately. But, um, so this one was just me. Um, I started using the uh, lined paper to my benefit. So, like, because, like, the other, just drawing heads didn't work. So I was like, well, if I just fit his head inside these two lines and that I could just follow that, these, as, you know, head head heights and make a body that way. And I wasn't too proud of this one, obviously. I think it was just because it was too small. Like, I couldn't fit all the thing I, things I wanted. And this one... This one was more adequately sized, um, uh, instead of uh, like two lines tall, I had like three lines tall or whatever. Uh, so at this point, I think this might have, was this the first one I dated? I don't think so. Nope, 411. So yeah, we're at April at this point. I think this one was 410. When did I actually start dating these? I think, honestly, 410 is the first one that I dated. Yeah, 410. Anyway, I'm sure that I... So, yeah, as you see, I'm basically in April at that point. Um, and that would end uh, sketchbook number three here. And um, I, I feel like at this point I started getting just kind of a lot better I feel like at you know at least anime bodies I don't necessarily want to draw anime forever but hey it's it's something and that's all the book basically all the books I have is just how to draw anime anyway so it is what it is just more like 3d drawing basic stuffs um, more of that Again, I probably wasn't too impressed. When you see a middle finger, that usually means I'm not that impressed with it. Or when I scribble things out. Some of this was just like at my sister-in-law's house. And I was just trying to draw a certain object from her house. Um, this was actually when I was sitting in church service. Um, you probably couldn't tell that what's going on here. But basically, these are the chairs... This is uh, somebody I was sitting in front of me. I think that is, you know, that's another person. That's another person. That's like the uh, pastor who was talking. And uh, I, I kind of messed up over here a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not great, but it's something. I drew something that day. Again, another one of those... Uh, little breaks from the anime thing where yeah I have uh I, I just drew a salt salt shaker this is not the only drawing of this thing but this was like a glass candy bottle at uh at work at this point it's May and you're probably wondering why such a big difference well that's because that well, that's because at some point I probably got like a commission from my friend and that took a while um, this was a poster at Afden the uh, dental place and I just decided to try to draw this lady who was in there who was on that thing this was a revised drawing of that glass container I think it's a lot better and then uh, we have my key fob um, Hershey He's wrapper or something like that, like that little plastic holder piece inside a Hershey, not a Hershey's, a, a Reese's. And this is like the water jug thing at work. I don't know. Um, I'm not even going to lie, I don't know why I got the feeling to draw this. But I drew a Starbucks cup for some reason. That was my hand that I drew. And uh, I just drew a random eye. And then, child proportions. 
That one said May 3rd. Oh, you know what? I think I kind of bounced around a little bit because I missed a page or something. But yeah, here's like, because in this one, we're still in Mar April. Oh, I missed a page. I don't really know what any of this is. It was just me trying to draw a funny cartoon type thing, I guess. And, uh, yeah. This was me drawing chibi purport. This is trying, attempting to do, like, chibi proportions and stuff. It's alright. I don't know if it really worked or not. More chibi stuff. I love this one. This one reminds me of my youngest kid. Um, I also realized this day that I had like a random red marker with me. So I just used that to like... Because I did a lot of... I called this one page uh, Rage Against the Artist. And that, should be, that was just because I wasn't having a very good day drawing and stuff. And so then I was like, you know what, why not it be fun just drawing all of the the angry emotions on that page from that little uh, reference stuff. This is a free hand, I don't even... I mean, obviously there's some Super Saiyan 3 and Tartakovsky Clone Wars influence here, but yeah, it was just a random thing I tried to do. I probably started with the arm and just made the rest of them. And th then on April 30th, um, as you see, I decided, well, I, this was like part of the like reference stuff that you could do. And I drew a couple of the hands. I think he had like, he definitely had a lot more like, oh, at this point I kind of quit trying to draw everything in that book. And I just did the things that I thought would challenge me slash I thought were interesting like this. I thought this was a really interesting hand. Um, I thought this was a really challenging sort of thing that I'd never done before. This was definitely one that I had never done. And like, um, in an anime I read, this, like, he always, the, one of the characters was like holding a pencil and off, like, all the time. So I wanted to do that. And even though, like, I have some comments here, I don't think that these are awful hands or anything. Proportions when this person is walking. Uh, sorry, my head shadow keeps getting in the way, but my lighting in here is awful. But yeah, um, this was actually from supposed to be this Haruhi Suzumiya statue here. Um, I didn't quite get it on par, but we also enter May at this point, it seems. So that's cool. Just side view walking again. I was I was using the lines as a re as like a reference to on where things should be, and that's basically something I just keep continuing to do. Um, I thought. I really like this one. I thought this one turned out really well. And again, this one was one that I purposefully drew really small. Um, a little bit of that was to try to hide some of the uh, detail that I just didn't want to draw. But on the other hand, um, this leg didn't end up all screwy like I thought it would. And uh, yeah, it just all ended up being a pretty decent drawing overall. Um, this was a random Sonic I drew during, during church. I heard that Sonic is actually like a really good place to start out trying to draw 3D stuff. Uh, just because like, he's just like a bunch of simple shapes and stuff, you know? Like even this, I achieved some sort of effect of 3D a little bit. It's probably not, it's not great, but it's like a, just a a hint of like a 3d uh, effect going on here and and it, I feel like it kind of carries on a little bit here not greatly but like I don't think this arm is horrible um, maybe this 
leg is, maybe this leg down here isn't long enough, but I'm still learning here. Um, I tried, guys, all right, I try. Oh yeah, we've also reached June. But um, I just tried here, okay? I don't know what you guys want from me. But um, that's why there's like a bunch of X's around is because, just basically because his head is just ginormous. But like to try to move his head, I'd have to basically redo the entire thing before, by, by the time I noticed that his head was too big compared to her, basically. Now this one wasn't so bad. I don't know why this one's like four days later, but this one wasn't so bad. Um, this one I thought was amazing until I noticed that this leg was too small. And even then, I'm... And, but like, at this point, the book did basically say that this is some expert level stuff here. Yup. Just more... Anime pose stuff. I, um, I think we're actually. I think that one and this one were part. Are another another part of the instead of like the actual how to draw stuff is just like reference stuff. And again, I just chose something that I thought was challenging but really kind of unique, and I really like that one. I thought this one was okay. Um, I, I'm more like the I'm, I like the body. I, I kind of quit trying with the hair because I mostly just wanted to get the general attitude down, and I feel like I did that pretty well. Um, same thing with this one. I didn't really try with the hair much. I was actually pretty happy with how this one turned out because, like, I got the waistband here looking pretty okay. The skirt looks pretty okay right there. Um, the hand doesn't look too bad. But, um, again, I kind of quit trying with the hair at this point, just because hair is difficult, and hair is its own sort of subject. Ooh, now we get to perspective. And, um, yeah, this th this was just kind of like a couple of, like, test things he, he said to try, to try out. Same thing with this one. This one's actually, like, two-point perspective. This one was three-point perspective, and you see how well that worked. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to do that again at some point. Just like, but that just sort of failed for now. Um, this was another. I think this one's technically two-point perspective or something like that. And then this was like a one-point perspective. Uh, one-point perspective. Uh scene that he had you draw and um i was like you know what i'm gonna try it and uh if you look like really closely at the details you'll see like i messed up a lot but you know when you just kind of put it back here and you just kind of look at it don't look so bad you know and yes we have hit july at this point very early in july um Again, I meant to draw these small, but mostly because, like, the last page left all these black dots. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try drawing these smaller here to use the page, but also to kind of, uh, you know, use the space that's left. And um, kind of decent detail for how small that box is, you know? Um, I didn't go super into detail on the characters, but hey, there's characters there. Um, this was me kind of trying to free, freehand perspective. This was something that, like, uh, I had kind of started with Proko, and the original plan was to do this for a lot more, but I basically just did this one page. And this was basically him talking about, like, this box method where you can basically uh, contort the body just by using boxes and stuff and tell where things are pointed easier just by drawing boxes. This was a how to draw kit critical role type thing where I drew Keyleth. Uh, this was a little bit of a this was me trying to do the Loomis method and again the plan was 
was to do this more. But I found some, but my parents found something that was the subject for the next uh, sketchbook. And then this is the last one here. Just let me kind of find the first page. There it is. Um, of course, I was using this for like scripts, a script or whatever I, when I first started it, but I never actually did the script, so I just figured I'd just use the page for something else. And in this case, Sonic Expressions. This is from a How to Draw Sonic book. And yeah, fun. Um, so I, I, th I think I did these on the same day. I'm not really sure. Uh, what's funny about this How to Draw Sonic book is like some of the Sonic stuff is actually from like the video games, but everything else is from like the cartoons as you see here. Because like this is Sally Acorn from, you know, the Sonic Saturday AM cartoon, you know? And yeah, just more of that. Then we get Tails here. Um, Tails' emotions are on the back here. Um, Dr. Robotnik expressions and stuff. Um, Rodor, Bunny Rab Rabot, which which some of these like with Sally, Rodor, and her, these is the first time I had ever drawn these characters. And this is like the first time I'd ever actually drawn this Eggman well. Right? And of course I had to throw in the mean bean machine joke there. Um, but this was the end of July. So I'm already I was already a little bit past my technical year but you know it is what it is and this um i didn't date but this is something that i actually draw today um at work and this is the end of the year so definitely my plan is is to finish that sonic how to draw book i'm kind of halfway through it at this point and then uh, go back to um, that How to Draw Anime book. There's some stuff in there that I kind of stopped halfway between because um, basically on my uh, YouTube, on my watch later list, there's like nothing but like a whole um, stretch of just um, different things on how to draw and stuff. Not like characters or anything, but more like how to draw concepts, like how to draw the human head, how to draw the body, how to, you know, just stuff like that, how to draw perspective and stuff. And that's kind of my goal for this year also, is once I'm done with these two how to draw books, is to kind of just go watch, you know, a couple of those YouTube Let's Play videos at a time maybe, and then use those to um, start drawing my own stuff. You know what I mean? So that I'm not just kind of, I'm not copying like Mark Crilly here. I just looked at his name or drawing Pokemon, which I could keep drawing Pokemon to be fair, but. Um, so yeah, I, you know, for those who have uh, followed me on Twitter or like my Facebook friends. I want to thank you guys for, you know, liking the pictures that I post because I, I every time I, every, for basically a straight year now, I have posted um, all the stuff I've drawn and I've done that on Twitter too. So you know, um, I guess keep a lookout for that because I'm not gonna stop here. At least that's not the plan. The plan is not to stop at one year it's to like i i've been i have mentally prepared myself at this point to do this for the long run for as long as it take as long as you know i'm able plus i have a whole bunch of sketchbooks that i haven't filled out yet you know and the thought of that excites me because i've never like before this i haven't finished a notebook before 
So like, yeah, so like all of these, these are uh, notebooks that I had when I was a teenager, right? So like, you know, this was a drawing I did when I was like 15 or something like that, or 12, I don't remember, you know? So yeah, it's just like, I have pictures from like 10 year over 10 years ago and pictures from just last year here you know so that's that's pretty cool to me and uh but anyway i hope you guys liked this look into my drawing journey and i hope that you know maybe i'll do this again next year around august again um so i hope you'll join me then and I hope that this video has kind of somewhat kept you entertained or whatever. But um, until the next video, guys, I'll see you later.